Hey, my name is Angelica Betfellini, and I'm an actress born and raised in New York City. Having lived in New York City my whole life, I definitely feel like fashion is something that I just grew up noticing. My mom and my grandma were always super into fashion. And so I definitely had some influences at a very young age. My relationship to my wardrobe is very anti-fast fashion. And if I do have some fast fashion pieces, I'll just try to wear them until end of life and then try to find another use for them. For example, some of my more raggedy H&M shirts have turned into rags for the kitchen and the bathroom. This bomber jacket is from the 60s. My mom said that she bought it vintage even then, so I imagine that it's even older than that. She bought it vintage somewhere in New York and just wore it to, to pieces, you know, and it was completely falling apart. We kept it in our storage unit for a while, and I was looking at it recently, and my mom just casually was like, oh, you can toss that. I mean, it's beyond repair. You're going to spend so much money fixing it up. But I was like, this piece is so special. I just knew that I had to wear it. I really wanted to give it more life. And yeah, super in love with the way that it turned out. I mean, the, the, the leather is still so buttery. It's just such an amazing piece and I'm so glad to have brought it back to life. My philosophy when choosing new pieces and shopping is just, you know, where the ethical, where did it come from? How long did it take to make? What were the workers paid? I mean, these are all questions that I really try to, to keep in mind when I'm shopping for pieces. I really try to shop sustainably and ethically made. Sometimes that's impossible. You know, sometimes you need something and, uh, or you stumble across something that you just have to add. But as long as you know that you're gonna wear it, I definitely think that, that there's no problem with that. And also I love to shop secondhand. So that's a huge philosophy of mine. I shop online secondhand. I shop in stores at vintage stores secondhand, just to like give things another life when somebody is done with it or trying to get rid of it, just makes so much of a difference. If I could raid anyone's closet, it would be Chloe Sevenke. I am dying to raid her closet. In fact, I know that she occasionally has auctions for her friends where she like lets people come in and I am just dying to raid Chloe Sevigny's closet. With the shoes, those were my grandma's shoes, definitely from the 80s. My grandma didn't buy a lot of things vintage. She did have some stuff handmade for her, although I don't think the shoes were one of them. These shoes, I've always loved them and I used to wear them when I was younger, but Something about the cut of the ankle just wasn't right for this time. And I shot in the dark, brought it to Vince thinking, you know, maybe they won't be able to do anything. But I just love the way that it turned out with the with the bigger heel and the ankle and like just just how great that that turned out. I just love it. And now it's like this cute little booty, which is so in style right now. A piece of style advice to my younger self, to, to make things last, make it last, make purchases that, that you're gonna love for, for a long time. Try not to keep up with trends because trends fade. And really what you're gonna look for that's gonna make a difference to your closet are classic, well-made pieces that can last a lifetime.
I found Vince Village Cobbler through Instagram. I mean, it was, I was truly influenced and I'm so happy that I stumbled on it. I was just seeing their amazing videos of fixing up these, these pieces that had been like chewed by dogs or, or just years of wear and tear. And they would just fix these leather pieces and make them go, it was bags, shoes, belts. It was anything I could think of. And that's why I said, hmm, maybe they can do my jacket because my jacket was so beat up. And lo and behold, they absolutely could. I don't have any objections to the modern fashion or style industry, except that I think that the messages can be kind of muddled and confusing, especially given body image and stuff like that. I think a more positive message with clothing should always just be clothes are made to fit you, not you fit into the clothes. And I think that that is something that as a society, we just forget, especially as a woman, it's, we love to tell women how they should look, how they should dress. And I guess I, I have an objection to that. I wore a gorgeous dress for the French Dispatch premiere back in 2021 at New York Film Festival. I absolutely loved that dress and the shoes. There was something about that pairing that made me feel like amazing. And it was just a black dress and a little kitten heel, but I felt like a million bucks. And we had to get that dress. That was a sustainably made dress by a great company. And we got the dress tailored to me. It was just an amazing. And luckily I was able to keep that dress. So I've actually reworn it a few times, which is also something that I would love to say to my younger self, which is, you know, be an outfit repeater. Outfit repeaters are awesome. You find an outfit that works, wear it. It's great. Wear it multiple times. We love that. <laughs> 